What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a deck profile here for Krez Garurumon. This is a purple deck and purple is one of my favourite colours to actually play alongside blue. But that being said, this deck did come out quite a long time ago, back in starter deck 6. But ever since it came out, I've always wanted to actually build this deck. And ever since then, I've just been playing it up until now. And it's incredibly fun. It's so satisfying when you're actually able to get the otk combo off and this is uh, one of those decks that can actually do that now of course if you guys have your own deck list to share then feel free to do so i'm really open to feedback on this and it would really help out everyone as well if uh, we could just get more of an idea of what different variations you could actually play with this particular deck but of course if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like share comment subscribe it really does help out the channel, even if it means watching one more video. But that being said, let's begin. Now, starting off with the DG Eggs, we're going to be playing two copies here of Pagamon. It's inherited just allows you to trash another card from your hand to gain extra DP, which can really help out. We're also playing three copies of the Pagamon from the actual starter deck itself. On deletion, you can trash two more cards from your deck. Now that will be important because there are ways you can actually recur cards back from the actual trash. Now when it comes down to level 3s, I think it's all unanimous that we must play 4 copies of Gaumon because of the fact that its effect is pretty much going to be revolving in this particular combo itself. So that's from BT5, on deletion, if it's deleted by an effect, you gain 1 memory. That will keep your combo going and arguably you could keep going infinitely if you really wanted to, depending on how you could actually set up the perfect circumstance. But that being said, I'm also going to be playing two copies here of Ghostmon. Uh, we are going to be digibursting with this particular deck. In fact, it's all Kreskarurumon doing the digibursting. So Ghostmon can actually just return, definitely an added bonus. Now ending things off on the level 3s, we're playing two copies of Drachmon from ST6. This is going to allow you to recur your option cards that you actually need. Very important that you actually get all the option cards for this particular deck because there is a particular option card that is also part of this combo. But aside from that, we also have Impmon, which is a really nice card that allows you to play additional cards from your trash as well if it's ever hit by security. Aside from that, it usually does act as a very nice card for your rookie rush strategy early on. And the final of the cards that we have in the level 3 line is the one copy of Garbamon, and that's because it's currently at 1, so that's all we can really play, but allowing you to cycle out things every turn is definitely an added bonus. So on to level 4s, we're going to be playing two copies of Garurumon from the starter deck and we're playing two copies of Black Graumon from BT5. Definitely very nice cards with great inherited effects. Garurumon allowing you to do more cycling for your deck, but Black Graumon also giving you additional security attack which is incredibly powerful so yeah it definitely synergizes with this deck really well and wrapping things up with the level fours we're playing two copies here of ogamon and two copies here of devimon now devimon is pretty self-explanatory it's just a blocker but having a blocker to sort of slow down rookie rushes definitely very nice while you set up your own combo now, Ogamon, on the other hand, also allows you to get rid of cards, but to gain that early security attack is definitely very powerful. So, yeah, it's quite a bonus there. But if it is inherited, you could still also use the trashing effect to gain DP. Moving on to level 5s, we're playing two of the Wergururumons. Definitely very nice, the one from SD6 and the one from BT2. Both of these definitely very facilitate this deck. We have here the one from the starter deck allowing you to gain additional DP. Now here's the thing, Kresgarurumon is our main attacker. It is only 12k, being able to boost it up via inheritance through the Wergarurumon or perhaps even through the Ogamon that we had earlier can boost it up to up to 16k if we really needed to. That essentially can get over almost everything out there. Now the one from BT2 on the other hand allows you to delete one of your other Digimon to unsuspend this Digimon. 
this is a very nice bonus effect that sort of uh, synergizes with the actual Kresgarurumon's effect in a certain sense. Think of it like this, your Kresgarurumon only has a Digiburst 2 effect. If you run out of cards in your Digivolutions, then you could always just use your Wergarurumon instead. And to wrap it up for the level 5s, we're going to be playing one copy of Lady Devimon, which is very nice to allow you to just get more cards into the trash, but to also gain additional memory as well, which is very nice. And we are going to be playing stuff from the trash too. Then of course, we also have the Black War Graumon, uh, Digiburst 3. And look, here's the thing, ultimately we're not going to be using it as much, but once in a while, if we are in sort of desperate situations, we might actually use it. It's mainly the actual inherited effect which allows you to delete one of your other Digimon to unsuspend it. So again, it plays off again with that, but the main effect is sort of that bonus that adds more versatility to this deck. All right, so finally we are here at the level sixes. Kresgarurumon, absolutely amazing card. Security attack plus one. So there you go. You get one attack through and that is two damage onto your opponent. So all you really need is three attacks. But hey, throughout the game, you probably would have been at least doing a few attacks onto your opponent already with your lower level Digimon. So that means your opponent probably has less than five security, right? Or perhaps four? If that's the case, Kresgarurumon only needs two attacks to be successful and you could potentially win the game, assuming your opponent doesn't pop any particular option cards in the security, of course. But that being said, it's second effect Digiburst 2 allows you to play one of your purple level 3 Digimon from your trash. And the card we are mainly playing is obviously going to be the Garmon. So that really allows you to just keep cycling things out, which is very powerful indeed. Now, in terms of supporting cards, we're going to be playing two copies here of Tactimon, just a really versatile card that allows you to really choose uh, whatever you want depending on the situation that you're in. To wrap things up here with level 7s, we're actually going to be playing two copies of uh, Zwart Defeat. This is a powerful card, really nice card, an added bonus. It actually comes out during security, which is absolutely amazing. So it just wins the battle, but you also just get to play it. And on deletion, you can also delete one of your opponent's Digimon. However, if you manage to actually Digivolve with it, you also get to delete another one of your opponent's tamers, which is uh, a nice very bonus effect there. But mainly, you want it to be triggering off in the security. Onto option cards, we're going to be playing two copies of Matt Ishta and one copy of Mimi Tachikawa. All very nice cards that allow you to sort of uh, get more of an advantage over your opponent Mimi. Well, we're playing one particular option card that really sets off the combos. With Mimi being able to allow you to gain an additional memory really does help out. And with Matt, well, if one of your Digimon actually gets deleted, you can suspend it to gain another memory. This only facilitates your combos even more. Alright, so wrapping things up here with the actual Tamers, we're playing two copies of Alice McCoy, one copy of Matt Ishida from BT2, and one copy of Sora and Mimi. One being is that we have a bunch of uh, memory setters here, which is very nice, but also allowing you to do a bit of recycling uh, and gaining more cards, or at least reducing the cost of your memory uh, in terms of digivolutions as well. So all of that is incorporated within these three cards. I stick to this particular ratio because I want to be a bit more diverse, a bit more versatile with my options. All right, so moving on to option cards, we're gonna be starting off here by playing one copy of Calling From Darkness. It's only at one, so that's too bad. But we're also gonna be playing four copies of Demonic Disaster, our main combo card. And we're playing two copies of Purple Memory Boost as well. The Purple Memory Boost is a bit self-explanatory. The Calling From Darkness, same thing applies. But Demonic Disaster is allowing you to delete one of your Digimon to unsuspend one of your purple Digimon. This allows you to keep the loop going with the Kresgarurumon. 
to wrap things up on our options, we're going to be playing one copy of Fly Bullet and one copy of Rivals Barrage. Just that bit of versatility to get rid of pesky cards on the board. Alright, now in terms of having an ideal board, this is essentially what you actually want to look at here. You want to have the Black Graumon being the card underneath as your level 4, you want War Gururumon being the level 5 under that, and of course the Kres Gururumon on top. Then you of course want to have Gaiomon out on the board as well, and you want to have the at least two Demonic Disasters in your hand, although you can get away with one depending on what your opponent actually has. And of course, having Matt Ishta and Mimi Touch Kawa just makes the situation even better so that you can always have more memory on the board. This is essentially the combo that you have here. You can get this whole loop going with just one memory, which is definitely very powerful there. And as long as you have the one memory, you are all good. In fact, you could probably even do this with zero memory, which uh, is very nice because when you're recycling the Gaumon, you're essentially gaining that memory anyway. So yeah, this is essentially the idea that you wanna go with here, attacking multiple times with Kreskorurumon and cycling out everything else. So that was pretty much it for today's deck profile, I hope you guys actually enjoyed that one and although this is an old deck it is something that I still find to be quite fun to actually play in this modern format. So let me know what you think about this, thanks for joining me today, I hope you all have a fantastic day, I'll see you all next time.